Welcome back to another Utah Treks video. I'm Harold, and today we're going to give you the rundown on how to use your new Catrek Max. We know that this trike is probably the first for a lot of people due to it being our first high weight capacity trike at such an affordable price. This has lowered the barrier of entry for a lot of people and learning a new vehicle may be tricky. So I wanted to come out here and teach you the basics of riding and trike setup. Starting off, let's cover trike setup. So you've just got your trike and it's all out of the box, practically ready to ride. We ship out cat trikes ready to go out of the box. The only preliminary setup you may need to do is to adjust the boom. The boom is usually pushed in for shipping to maximize space. So when you take it out of the box, there will be a guide letting you know what marking to adjust your boom to. You adjust the boom by undoing the quick release here at the base of the boom and just pulling the boom out to the marking specified on the paper included with your trike. Once it's at your desired length, close the quick release and you should be all set to start riding. When ordering your trike, you would have given us your XC measurements and this allows us to set you up with the correct amount of chain so once your trike is adjusted to the correct length, there is no additional setup that needs to be done. If you end up needing to adjust your chain for a different X seam, we have a video that will walk you through the process. The link to that video will be in the description and the top right corner of this video. You can also adjust your trike further for your comfort if you need to. The handlebars are fully adjustable. All you need to do is loosen the bolt at the base of the bar with a five millimeter Allen wrench. Once loosened, you can pull the handlebar in or out to give yourself more room in the cockpit. If the seat isn't at the right angle for you, it's also easily adjustable. You're going to want to head back to the backrest to this quick release. And once it's unclamped, you can adjust the seat to any of the four positions on the adjuster. If this range of adjustment isn't enough for you, we offer our UT Custom Catrike seat extensions. This will give you seven more adjustment slots to get you a full range of adjustability on your trike. It's also good practice to check your tire pressure before you ride. Sometimes a fluctuation in temperature can decrease the air in your tires. You can do this easily if you own a bike pump with a pressure gauge. Just hook the pump head up to the tire valve and it should show you the pressure reading of the tire. If you are unsure of the PSI, your tire should be filled to. You can also take a look at the tire sidewall and all of the info you need should be right there. Something you need to be aware of is that Catrex come stock with tire tubes that have a pressed valve. This is different than the Schrader tire valve you may be used to. The Schrader valve is more common on lower end bikes, trikes with fat tires and other vehicles like cars. These valves are similar, but pressed valves were made specifically for bike use. So there are some functional differences. Before you pump up your tire, make sure your pump is Presta compatible or has an adapter to work on both types of valves. The Presta valve is thinner than the Schrader, so a different pump may be needed. Attaching to the Presta valve is a bit different than a Schrader. First off, you want to remove the cap on the valve like you would on a Schrader and then loosen the valve lock. Once loosened, all you need to do is get your Presta compatible bike pump and attach it to the stem. Once you're all pumped up, take a couple seconds to listen to the tire and make sure there isn't any air escaping from it. Lastly, before we take off, let's take a look at the Catrick pedals. These pedals have two sides, a standard riding side and a side for riding with clipless biking pedals. If you have riding shoes, the Catrick Max comes with cleats to attach that corresponded to the Catrick pedals. All you need to do once you have your cleats attached is to align the cleats with the pedal. Then stick the toe end of the cleat into the pedal and press down with the ball of your foot to lock it into place. If you want to remove your shoe from the pedal, just twist your foot to the outside and it will pop right off. A riding shoe can be nice because it allows for more pedaling power, allowing you to push and pull the pedals instead of just pushing like on a regular unattached pedal, as well as locking your feet to the pedals, which may help avoid accidents where your feet would fall off the trike. And now, once you have the trike adjusted to yourself and your trike is in tip top shape, let's get out there and learn how to ride. The first thing we'll want to talk about is the brakes. You have a brake lever on both handlebars and each brake has a locking pin. To lock the brake, you will pull the brake back, push the pin in, release the handle, locking the pin in place. Then you can pull the brake to unlock it. 
because there's a brake on each wheel. You will want to make sure that you hit the brakes evenly, not too hard on one side or the other. If you pull too hard on one side, it may start to pull the trike to one direction. The next item is steering. Catrike has a direct steering setup where the handlebar is directly connected to the spindle. This makes it really easy to steer. So when you're sitting in it to turn, you just pull the handlebar to the side towards you the way that you want to go. When you're riding, make sure to slow down and lean with the turns. Catrack is very stable, but as good practice, make sure to take controlled turns to prevent any loss of control or stability. Next, we have the shifting. On the Max, there is only one shifter, which is on the right handlebar and controls the rear gears. On other models of Catrack, though, there will be two gear shifters, the left shifter controlling front gearing and right shifter still in charge of the rear gearing. To shift your gears, you simply just put the shifter forward and down or up and back. When you're riding, you find that cadence is key, so adjusting your gearing to make your pedaling more comfortable is probably your best option. As the terrain changes, so will the resistance. Gear shifting will allow you to make these climbs easier by shifting to lower gears. When you shift into lower gears, it increases the amount of pedal rotations needed to make a whole wheel rotation. This allows for easier pedaling without as much resistance, making a great starting gear for any rough terrain. A higher gear will decrease the amount of pedal rotations needed to rotate the wheel. This leads to more pedaling resistance, but also more speed. Think of it like shifting on a car. The faster you want to go, the higher gear you will need to be in. Starting on a higher gear in a car can bog the engine or stall you down because of the lack of torque. But starting in a lower gear gives you the amount of torque needed to get you rolling. When you do start shifting, you want to make sure that you are pedaling as you shift. If the chain isn't moving, it can't move up the gears and could potentially get stuck. A good practice is to shift down your gears before you stop, so that once you need to start pedaling again, you don't have to start on a higher gear. Besides riding functionality, an important note is riding safety. Recently we made a video on how to ride safely and smartly. If you're interested in learning about that, we will leave a link in the description at the top right corner of the video so you can check it out. Getting a trek like this can be a big investment, and knowing how to take care of it and make sure it stays in good shape is a great idea. I hope this video helped you become more familiar with your trike and made your introduction to the trike world a little bit smoother. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and give us a like down below. And if you want to be notified of future Utah Trikes content, hit the bell as well to be notified of our future uploads. If you're a new trike rider, leave a comment down below and let us know what about your trike you're most excited about. We'd love to hear from you guys. And with that, remember to relax, spin fast, and ride trikes. See you guys next time. Wait, Brabok, scroll down. Hey, you scroll the down the tablet for a chap. When you shift into lower gears, <laughs> it may start to pull the trike to one direction. Because, girl, you light up my world like nobody else. This makes it easy. <laughs> <laughs> As the terrain changes, so will the resistance. <laughs> <laughs> you want to put it back together? <gasps> <laughs> Brother Jensen, can you see? That focused the whole time. Hi, Harold. <laughs> Resistance, but also more speed. This is as good as you're getting. No, <laughs> 
Besides writing functionality and important noise writing safety, recently we made a video on how to ride safely, smartly, if you're interested in learning about that. <laughs> Yo, please take a look at the video on the link in both. Mm. 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 And give us a like down below.